Hey everybody, has Tater Cope here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening. So last time we did some DLC, the Lost Bloodlines DLC. And in that one we fought some more of those Enninger cards. And one of those cards that we recruited was Leaf from Thracia. You know, Fire Emblem Thracia, which I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I never played Thracia, but it looks kind of fun. You know, it's kind of unfortunate that these there's just some Japanese ex exclusive Fire Emblem games that are out there right now, which I hope they can translate and bring to the Americans and, you know, to, you know, the whole world, basically. I mean, they did that with Echoes, right? So, I mean, it would be nice, but we'll have to see. So, yeah. Um, so, for this video, we're going to do some more DLC. But, as always, we have some supports to do. Uh, as you can see, we got quite a bit, so... Let's see how much we can do. Alright, let's do Cordelia's first. Uh, let's have her talk to... Uh, let's have her talk to Robin. Ow! I used the last of that salve yesterday, but this cut still stings. What to do? What to do? Listen. You're not out of salve. I restocked your medical supplies this morning. Huh? You did? Oh, that's great. Thank you, Cordelia. You never miss a detail, do you? Right. I just like to stay on top of things. By taking stock of everyone's equipment, I know when anything needs replacing. Uh, Wait, you keep track of everyone's equipment? All on your head? Yes. Of course. Imagine the chaos if our potions and equipment ran out at the same time. <sighs> Gods, I can certainly see why everyone calls you a genius. <laughs> Do not call me that. Oh. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. <sighs> no, of course you didn't. Please forgive me. It's just that my superiors call me that from the moment I joined the Knights. It was so very hard sometimes. Little Lady Genius, they called me. They teased and taunted me. No. Oh. They mocked me too. My appearance, or my appearance, and my javelin technique. Uh. Gracious! I had no idea members of the Pegasus Knights could be so spiteful. I assure you, when I called you a genius, I meant it only as a compliment. Yes. I know. I'm just overly sensitive, that's all. Um... Well, if you ever need to talk, just let me know. Thank you. Well, since you offered... What do you think of this javelin? I'm not sure about the balance myself. Huh? Uh, I meant if you ever need to talk about... Never mind. Aw, oh, poor Cordelia. Gaius, isn't that the same outfit you were wearing yesterday? Huh? Yeah, but it was clean yesterday. One extra day won't kill me, right? <sighs> and have you combed your hair? <sighs> uh, no. But I did dunk my head in a watering trough a couple of nights ago. Why do you care so much anyway? No. Because. <sighs> uh, because why? As it must be. By the way, don't think you can run off again in the middle of our conversation. I have my Pegasus settled and waiting, and we will hunt you down. Huh. Cravens, are all of your chats this happy and carefree? Or am I a special case? Well? No, just you. Now come over here and let me trim that hair. Right. I suppose I'm not getting out of this, am I? Alright, do your worst. But you still haven't explained why you're so obsessed with my grooming. Yes. Because you are one of Krom's staunchest and most valuable allies. Turn your head a little, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah? Staunch ally, eh? I like the sound of that. Alright, message received. I'll dress like a dandy. So as to not make Krom look bad. Oh, I like the side short, if you'd be so kind. Already on it. Oh, 
And before I forget, use this soap when you launder your clothes. You have stains dating back to the Dark Ages, but this should get them out. Done. I'll wash them so bright, it'll hurt your eyes to look at me. Huh? We'll see. Yep. Hey now, how about showing a bit of trust for your staunch ally? <sighs> trust is earned, my dear Gaius, especially when it comes to laundry. <laughs> I guess Cordia is acting like a mother, you know, taking care of Gaius' appearance. <laughs> Alright, last one is Vake. <clears throat> yeah! I almost had Chrome that time! I was so close! No matter how often you lose, you never give up, do you? It's almost admirable. But why do you insist on using an axe? Krom has the advantage with his sword. Yeah, I'm wrong. Pshaw! I don't go in for that weapon matchup mumbo jumbo. If I start thinking on the battlefield, I'm done for. I stick with what I know. Instinct, brute strength, and the stupidity to keep fighting. Listen. Do you really want to beat Krom? Huh? What do you think? I've been watching you fight. You have the ability and talent, no doubt. But it's obvious you never learned the basics. Too pig-headed, I'm guessing. Hey, who you calling a pig? I wash all the time. There are better ways to fight than swinging the axe wildly around your head. If you like, I can show you some techniques. Hey. You really think you can help me beat Krom? Right. I can give you the tools. It's up to you to make them work. You're on. Well, I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. As it must be. I should warn you, though. I don't go easy on my students. Enter the Vake. Well, I should warn you. You ain't never had a student like the Vake. <laughs> All right then. Ooh. Okay. Um. Alright, let's do fake supports and Gregor Pain and I th think that should be good enough. Hey so this is where you're hiding, Lanku. You and me need to have another fight. Hmm. I will give you as many as it takes. You're on. Don't get cocky on me now. I've been practicing since the last one. This time, I'll thump you good, and then you'll have to be my squire. No. I have no doubt you have become stronger and more adept. But I too... But I have not been sit sitting idly by. I too have grown stronger. Thank me later. Really? Oh well, damn. So how about this? Let's have you stop training for, say, three days. That'll give me a chance to catch up and make it a fair fight. A strength is the only law. Now tell me why I should, why I would do such a thing. Hey. Well, because I have a dream. I need someone like you to make it come true. Pardon? A dream? <laughs> why, yes. Glad you asked. See, what I want to do is <laughs> enough. I care only for two things: the strength of your arm and the metal of your blade. Enter the so bank. that's a yes then. If it's a fight you want, then a fight you shall have. Begin. Oh, please. Come on, Sully. Help old Teach out here. Or help old Teach out here. Why can't I ever win the girl? I got devilish good looks, the strength of an ogre, and the charm of a fancy noble. Hmm. Well, one of those is true. Sort of. I suppose she can handle a lance, even if I'm better with a sword. Our match was pretty damn even until you decided we should arm wrestle. So yes, I'll admit that you're strong. Not bright, mind you, but strong. Hey 98, 99, 100. Uh, sorry, what was that last bit? Hard to hear you over these bicep curls. Anyway, you gotta help me out here, Sully. 
You just gotta. Look at these arms. Just look at them. I mean, what else does a lady want? Right. God be damned, but you are thick. How about being kind? Or thoughtful? Hey. Uh, why would a girl want that stuff for? Yeah. Look, if you ask me, I want a man with ideals. One who wants to better himself. If I'm going to spend the rest of my life with someone, I have to respect him. Yeah. Huh. That's me up and down. Heck, I joined the Shepherds because of my ideals. Hmm? Now that you mention it, you never did tell me why you're fighting for Crumb. So, out with it. What made you sign up? Anyone else? I wanted to be the greatest warrior in all the realm. Nah. No, idiot. I'm asking why you wanted to be a great warrior in the first place. Thank me later. Well, it's a bit of a tale. But you need more teach talk. That bad, eh? Well, alright. I grew up poor in this poot Padunk little village. Where I was famous for never losing a fight. Local kids latched on to me. Before I knew it, I had my own little gang. Of course, we were just a bunch of near do wells as far as the adults were concerned. <laughs> what a surprise. Right. So one day, Emmerin herself came to our corner of the world and she said, I seek to bring prosperity and equality to all the people of Ulysse. Well, that struck a nerve. As soon as I heard it, I knew what my mission was. Um... To forsake your misspent youth, join the Shepherds, and fight for social justice? <laughs> uh, yeah, that. That was it exactly. What you just said. Okay, maybe not the exact same words I used, but... Oh, yeah? Fake? You may not be such a complete moron after all. You might even, dare I say it, deserve some respect? Huh? That's the fake. Man of your dreams right here, reporting for du- <sighs> Nope, I stand corrected. No respect warranted. None whatsoever. Whatever. Aww. <laughs> Poor Vake. Alright. And then we'll do Gregor and Pain, and then I think that should be good enough. Uh, what's happening to the sun? Everything is growing dark. No, no. Oi? Uh, uh, no! Ancestors, help me! Eh? What is being wrong? Panda's shaking like dry leaf and wind. D darkness consuming all. It's just eclipse. Sun is only hiding behind moon for a small time. He's coming back. Gregor Slayers. Do not make with the worrying. Tr truly? Oh, yes. Panda's never heard of eclipse? Yes. I've been in hiding for most of my life. There is much I do not know. Hmm. Oi. You must have been poor and lonely, girl, yes? <sighs> Do not offer me pity. I will not accept it. Nonsense. You are a funny woman. Saying so to Gregor while cuddling in his strong arms. <sighs> cuddling? In your arms? <gasps> ah! Why did you grab me, man spawn? I should eat your heart for this insult. What? Please do not be doing this. Gregor is needing his heart. And it was you who was jumping into Gregor's arms like frightened rabbit, yes? Hmm. Uh, yes. Well, it must have been this eclipse. <sighs> He's no problem. Gregor, always in mood for a friendly cuddle. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Gregor's hugs must be very nice. <laughs> Alright. I think that was the supports we should need right now, so... Let's move on to the next uh, part, and that is Lost, Blo Lost Bloodlines 2. Alright, let's do it. Xenolog, Lost Bloodlines 2. Ooh. Oh ho, you came back, uh, just as I expected, of course. Hello, Hubba. Are we destined for another 
from one of those worlds you spoke of? Armies of Energar, all with wills of their own, locked in some epic struggle? Yes. Indeed you are. But you have help here. Not me, of course. My knee and all. No, one of the armies. I tripped them into thinking that they summoned you. Mm. You? Resorting to underhand tactics? Imagine that. Alright, so our objective is to rout the enemy. Alright, what do we got? Oh, there's Tiki. So as you can see, this is the Tiki from Shadow Dragon I mentioned earlier when we met Tiki in Chapter 16. Got Marth. Oh, we got Mycin. Oh, Mycin from Echoes, right. Oh, we got another Marth. Oh, looks like Ohms is the boss. And he is a Dreadfighter class. Now, at the end of this chapter, we should be able to get an item that allows our units to become a Dreadfighter class. Now, I think Dreadfighters are only for uh, male characters, I believe. I've never seen a... F I don't know, I think females can be Dreadfighters too, I think, but I think it's only males who can become Dreadfighters. But there's also another item that's you know, exclusive to females as well, which we'll get to at some point, but I'm pretty sure the Dreadfighter is only for males, so it would be kind of cool seeing a female Dreadfighter, but yeah, it's mostly, mostly for, you know, the male, cl you know, male characters, so. Uh, we got quite a bit of opposition. Of course, the one I need to watch out for is Marth here. But this Marth as well, but he doesn't look too tough. Although we do have allies this time. Also, also um, also mentioned as well is that, you know, in the last chapter we had certain allies. Well, this time, those allies we had in the last chapter are now enemies. And enemies from the last chapter are now our allies, so basically they switched it. Which is kind of unique, I guess, you know, to have a different allies, not the same ones over and over again. Okay. Lucina. Hmm. Let's have her go with... Let's have her go with her mother. Yeah. And Krom. You shall go with... Let's see... Um... Where's Fake? Where is he? There he is. Let's have him go with Fake. Yeah. And... I'm trying to bring, um, hmm. Well, we could use a healer, so... Uh, Olivia? Uh, sorry, but we need a healer for... She... Let's get Maribel. Yeah, uh, let's give you a physics staff. Uh, let's trade it for the rescue staff. Don't need that. Alright, for this side.
Hmm. Samia, you can go with. <sighs> hmm. Unless let's see, Roku, you can go with. Okay, let's have Lanku go with Lissa. Actually, no. We could use her as a healer, so. Tell him to go with Lissa, I guess, and... Varian, you shall go... Actually, no, Lanku. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Okay, uh, Sumia... Sorry, but it's not gonna use it right now. Olivia, you shall go with Lanku. And Varian. Hmm. Do they have any. Okay, there's some Pegasus Knights, and. I think I saw Wyvern, too. Oh, there we go. Uh, I guess we can keep them, but. Not easy. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. Okay. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have Lanku go with Olivia, and Lissa shall go with Kellum. And well, actually, no. Kellum can go with Olivia, and Lanku can go with Lissa. Yeah. And Varian. I think he should be okay. Wait, unless. No, okay. So Varian should be by, fine by himself. Everyone else has their partners. Everyone should have their partners. Alright, I think we're all good. Uh, items. Alright, I think we're all good for items. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Alright, so the plan is, what I'm thinking is, this group right here is going to try and deal with this army right here. Meanwhile, these guys, I guess we'll move on ahead and deal with these guys. Although we also have this group as well, so... We also got some villages we could visit too. But I think that's the only plan I can think that works, so... Hopefully it'll work. Alright. Now it's in place. Items are good. Alright. Let's fight. Grave news, Alm. The enemy forces have somehow suddenly multiplied. They must have summoned help from beyond our world. What do we do? Crush them, of course. Oh. What's wrong, Celica? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you certain ours is the more just cause? This is a battlefield. The politics of it no longer come into play. We've driven the enemy to their castle doors, and now you have doubts? No, of course not. Then let's buckle down and finish this fight. Well met. Are you the leader of these... Ethereal forces? A 
I cannot thank you enough for coming to our aid. My name is Erevis. I command this army. I am Krom. Now allow me to explain our situation, Krom. We need you to join your might to ours and break the enemy's siege. We pray that your soldiers will tip the odds in our favor. I understand. Again, you have my thanks. Listen. Robin. Huh? What's wrong? Hmm. That was Erephus. The villain in every Chukdoro Jug Draw saga I've ever heard. So why does he come across as so pleasant? Hmm. History de decides heroes and villains are a different bias than reality, or bases than reality. Perhaps the stories got Erephus wrong. He did lose out in the end, after all. Really? You have a point. Oh yeah, we also got allies here too, although they're not gonna do much, but... Hey, everything's better. I mean, any ally is good, you know. Alright, animations are on. There we go. Alright. Henry. Go with Cordelia. Crom. Vake and Lucina should join with their mother. Alright, how about we got a bunch of mages, so go right there. Lucina you should do that. Meanwhile, you guys move there. Alright, go here, just in case. Oh! Alright, so I've made about to talk to... Raquius. Darling! You there! Madam! Yes, my lady? Yes. Might I ask you something? Very well. <sighs> Who taught you etiquette? Beg pardon? <laughs> I've been admiring you from afar. Precious few bear themselves with such grace and elegance. Only a fine teacher could instill such class. I should very much like to meet him. So sorry. Or is it her? Forgive me for assuming. I have no teacher. What? No one... No one person may be who I am. I am sorry to disappoint. <sighs> I see. My greatest influence would have to be my elder brother. I hope that suffice. suffices. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, mm, guess I better find a brother. <laughs> oh, did you see Maribel like that? Whoa. <laughs> Alright. Waku. You shall go with Lissa. Olivia, Kellum. Alright, move forward a bit. Actually, see if we can get to that fort. That'd be a big advantage. And Varian, which should be right there. Let's use Rally. Marmar, where did all those bad people come from? Not from this world. Of that, I am certain. Don't worry, Tiki. There is strength in our numbers. We will crush them. Prince Martha's on the move. We ought to mobilize our own. I know. You need to spell it out. Ready our forces. We and Prince Martha shall crush the enemy from both sides. Our reinforcements are in place. Ready the counter-strike. We need to break through and rejoin with Lord Erevis' forces. I don't peddle in mercy. I can't afford to. If you want to fight me, then be prepared to pay the price. I'll cover you. Back off. All right. So, like I said, the plan is to deal with Come these on. guys as quickly as possible. And try and join with the others if I can. Look out. 
Why did I even try? Like, they're not even gonna hit her. down. <laughs> Thankfully he doesn't have a crit. Right. Oh. You will not stop me. Mess him up. I challenge my fate. There you go. Keep it up. Oh, here comes Marth. My lady, why are we dressed the same? But don't you see? It's something of a long story, sire. Right now, our blades must do the talking. Draw. Stay calm. Predictable. Hope will never die. Over here. Aw, too bad, Morth. They're moving. Oh, they're all moving. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention this, too. Is that... Where is she? Um... There's Celica, as you can see, this is her old portrait, and I mean, it's not bad, but I honestly prefer all Miss Celica's redesigns and echoes. I think they fit both of them more better than currently right now. Alright. Ugh. Jeez. Why do you do so much? concerned right now. Okay. Uh... Alright, maybe a bit of a risk, but I'm gonna have... Kill him right here at the fort. The killer at Lance. There's no kook over there. Okay, wait there. The buff. How am I gonna do this? Uh... 
Okay. Crom. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. Okay, maybe of a risk. But Crom, you can deal with uh, her. Right behind you. Now I'm angry. Alright, Garnif, you can go. Stay calm. Don't hit, don't hit. Hope will never die. Huh? Alright. Okay, pull back. Or... Actually, Cordelia. Oh, it's still not enough. Okay. Um, about. Okay, Cordelia. Can take care of him. And then after that, you can move again. Wait there. With the bow. Just want to make sure it don't do any damage. Okay, nine. Okay, so Henry should have put the bow right there. All right, that one's done. Oh, I really hope this works. <laughs> Maribel, you can wait there. Oh. Actually, let's give Lucina a heal. Just because. Just in case. Alright. This works. Oh. It's over. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Bye. Knock uh. silly. Oh boy. Here it comes. We can stop them. Ow. Racing there. Now you 
You've angered me. Huh? Yes. Good teamwork. Needed right now. Stay with me. <laughs> nice. Still so nervous right now. I uh, uh, watch you do that. Yep. Yes, there we go. dangerous right now. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh. Okay, let me check real quick. Does anyone have counter? Nope. Okay. Alright, you can take care of Tiki. Care of Minerva. I got you. Free for all. Uh. Hmm. She didn't want to take care of Legion here because he's a killer axe. do four, so... Okay, so she shouldn't be able to kill Maribel, so... Uh... Yeah, let's do it. Try not to die. Mistake. Or you could do that. That works, too. 
Excellent. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, what now? Uh, oh, no. too risky. I just can't risk it. I can't afford to lose anybody. I'm gonna do this, but I just I feel like I'm not strong enough. I don't want to risk losing my guys, so I hate to do this, but I'm gonna fall back just because it's too risky. You know, it's too risky. I just I can't afford to lose anybody, so I hate to leave my allies, but I just have to fall back and have everyone join together. It's just I just can't afford it. So, sorry guys, but you're on your own for now. Hail, traveler! Are you with the army? Let me enlist. I'm mighty handy with a weapon and... What's that? You can't involve me? Sounds like a flimsy excuse to me, but have it your way. And at least take this if you won't take me. Oh, thank you. Sorry guys, I hate to leave, but they're too powerful. Less opponent. Oh no. Oh. Yep, you're dead. Oh, maybe not. Still hanging in there, huh? Oh, it's over now. Yep. Yeah, that's why I need to run, because they're just too powerful right now. Why would you do that? Seriously? Alright, we need to run. Like now. Run! Actually, I have to go there. At least take care of Katria here, so for Kellum, so... Here's 
All right, you're down. <laughs> oh boy, you look like you're capable of all kinds of horrible torment. I studied in Kahaden. Would you like a demonstration? Wow. Why don't we both go? Ready? On three. One, two. To victory. Have some death. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Good, that side's cleared. I need to hurry and help our allies. Ah, you're healing. I'm with you. That's right, come over. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Cena, can you take care of Alm? Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, let's do it. She should be fine. I say when it ends. Good try, Alm. Okay, um... Uh, it's, it's Celica's Gale, though, it's... Be risky, but let's see if I can try gear of Celica as quickly as possible. Teaches what? Anything can change. <laughs> All right, Marion. See how far? Oh. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you Cordelia. Unless. Actually, let's have a pair of it. Yeah. Could be risky what I'm gonna do, but she needs to go right now. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um Okay, 
you. Uh, let's do it. I'll do my best. nervous right now. Okay. Oh, I really hope this works. Come on, you guys. Survive! Good, good. Oh. Uh, miss, miss. Oh. Shit. <gasps> no. Miss, miss. Oh, yes. Thank you for missing. Oh, my God. Okay, you need to go now. Get out of here. Don't fall. Oh, that was way too close. All right, Cena or how about you, Ruffin? Ugh. Okay, Cena, you do it. There we go. Whew. We made it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was the last of them, Crom. You have our gratitude. Good. Glad we could be of service. I pray we can count on you should the enemy return. Hmm. Of course. If that's what is uh, in the cards. Enjoy this piece you have earned. Perhaps we shall meet again. Wait, Crom. One more thing. Hmm? I came upon this peculiar card during the battle. Do you have any idea what it is? It seems magical somehow. <clears throat> An Enajar? Om, um, exalted king. He's a hero of the Valentian sagas. Is that significant? Well then, keep the card if it pleases you. If I lost, I'm glad it was to someone worthy. I am now yours to command. My name is Om. Do you know who I am? Oh yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> I know all about you. Really? I wonder how word could have carried to your world. Then you must know of my grandfather, and Selica too. What's that? My attire? This is a dread fighter garb. A dread fighter battles to win, to better himself, and to protect those he loves. They are my world's most fearsome fighters. Of course, Seleka thinks I should take a more compassionate approach to enemies. But really, it's a battlefield. How do you compassionately stab someone? It may sound barbaric, but that's just how I feel. If you hurt me, I hurt you back, tenfold. What about you? Do you have compassion for your foes? Ooh, can I show compassion to my foes? Uh, I guess. I mean, I mean, anyone, everyone deserves a second chance. So, yeah. It's, I mean, as long as they're not like totally bad. I mean, if it's someone who's like an evil guy who just wants to destroy the world, then. No, he gets no compassion. But if it's someone who's misguided and stuff, I mean, they deserve a second chance, so... Yeah, I guess I could sometimes show compassion. 
to my enemies. Really? Impressive. Strong and tender, all at once. Is that a balancing act that comes with experience? Or is it confidence? Well, you give me something to mull over at least. Maybe one day, I'll find in my heart to be like you. Recruit him? Yes. Our cause needs folks like you. And with that we get Dread Skull. Which is, like I said, allows our characters to promote to the Dreadfighter class. Alright. And where's... Oh, there's Om. Um, right there. Cool. Alright. Well, that was a... Whew. I almost was worried there. A couple of those fights right there. I thought I was definitely going to lose my units, but... Nope. Whew. Thank God. <laughs> uh, I gotta be really, really careful like that. Whew. But that's why I'm gonna do some training and grinding. That way I don't have to worry about those kind of situations again, so... Yeah. But, I think it's gonna do it for this video right, part right here, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and comment as well. And I guess next time I'll move to the final one for Lost Bud Lines. And then that item we get from that one is very helpful. Especially for my grinding, so... But it's not going to be easy, though. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, so... Got to do some preparations for that fight, but... I'll try my best. So, this is Vance Tentic over here. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.